Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls, and tonight we are going to be doing another nail polish review. This is a fun one that I haven't done in quite some time, and not because I didn't want to do it, just because Ulta stopped selling the nail pail for a quite a long time, and I've never heard anyone else talk about the nail pail, but I personally, when I came across it last year around the summertime, I was like, oh my gosh, how cute is this idea? And what it is is a tiny little nail pail, a literal like little baby paint can for nails, which you guys, if there's any indie polishers out there watching, please make a nail pail subscription service. I will buy it. I really, really want to subscribe to a nail pail. This is the cutest packaging I have ever seen. And again, um, Ulta used to do these seasonally. They would come out with a nail pail based on every season, but they stopped last year after their winter nail pail. This is the first nail pail they've done since then, and that was a year ago. So this is their winter nail pail, or what I can tell is their winter nail pail. And the reason why is because of the, some of the products in it. But I wanted to show you, again, it says it up here, and then on the actual kit it does say limited edition. So these do sell out and they are seasonal. You can normally find them either online or in the special section where Ulta has the end caps for their like holiday stuff or their limited edition, whatever they have beauty product wise. I think they're adorable and I don't mind Ulta polish. I do think some of these are actually quite nice. So let's go ahead and talk about what actually comes in the nail pail. So you get five mini polishes. Sometimes you get six mini polishes in a whole pail, but this one actually has some extra stuff. You can see right here, it also comes with one mini nail file. And then on this other side, it actually comes with three glitters. So you can actually have glitter for your nails. And then it also comes with this little um, sheet of nail tattoos. So it's got quite a couple of different things in it. So I'm going to go through and take you through the swatches I have. I'm sorry, the dogs are hearing the train in the background, so I will wait. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, no, it's okay. The train's gone. Shh, shh, shh. He's not convinced. There he goes. <laughs> hey guys, so I apologize for like the different hair and makeup. I don't know what happened to the footage in my video for this um, Ulta nail pail review, but um, somehow the, m the middle part of the footage, which was the main part of the review, got deleted or it got lost or maybe I didn't film it. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and jump into the polish, show you the swatches, and let's go ahead and get started. So this first one up is kind of like a dark red cream, and it is called very merry which i think this is an appropriate holiday shade the creams in this little nail pail are actually pretty good creams i have to say this one is a one coater so you can't go wrong with that and here it is on the swatch wheel again just kind of like a darker red holiday cream next up is this kind of like blue kind of chromey pearlized shade it is called starry night and it looks actually really cute in the bottle. It's kind of like a blue-gray, like I said, pearlized color. Um, it does look a little bit streaky, which is, again, is something to expect sometimes with chrome or pearlized shades. Um, but I can see the streaks or the um, actual, you know, swipes with the brush. Um, again, this is a two coat to get to this um, opaqueness. And again, it does show up kind of like light baby blue-gray. Alright guys, next up is another deep purple cream. This is a one coater. Again, these creams were really, really good. Um, it is kind of like a deep plum with kind of like a dusty gray, and it is called Snow Globe. Now, I find that to be odd because when I think of a snow globe, I think of like silver glitter or white matte glitter. I don't think of like dark deep plum, but this is Snow Globe. So I don't really think that the name fits this polish, but again, it is a one coat cream. Next up we have a silver chrome, which I do think is very holiday, although the name again is kind of weird on this one. It's called Eggnog, which Eggnog is like a white, milky, would have been a good crelly or like a yellowy color, so I don't really think that that is appropriate. But um, this is a two coat formula, and this one also you do kind of see the brush strokes again with these types of chromes. It's just going to happen sometimes. 
Um, but it is a pretty silver. It's just not, not the best silver. I've seen better ones without the brush strokes in it. Now the last one is an, another cream. This one was more streaky and it did take two coats to get opaque. This is called Comet and it's this taupey pink gray dusty mauve, uh, mauve color. And it's actually a pretty color. It's um, kind of like a very neutral, to me, kind of like work appropriate color. Kind of like not quite mannequin hands, but kind of like that pinky, purple, dusty lavender color. I don't really think it's very holiday though, so I don't really get that connection. Um, one of the things though I did want to mention about these five nail polishes is that they don't put the names on the polish. The names of these polishes are listed on the bottom of the nail pail. And so I just go in the order it says they are. And again, I don't think all of the names really match up to what they are. So I think they could do a better job of, you know, naming their polishes a little bit more appropriate. The colors in general, I will give you kind of an overview. The colors in general, just again, don't really shout out to me as holiday. Like this one does, this one does. This could be wintry, that could be wintry, but these two, I don't know. It just was an interesting collection. I've seen much better put together nail pails in the past, so this is definitely not one of my favorites. Um, although I want to kind of continue on and show you what else is in the nail pail. Um, they do give you three glitters. And so I do think that's an interesting twist. You know, if you do nail art or you want to try glitters out, they give you three different ones to choose from. There are no names on these glitters, so I'm just going to describe them to you. The first one is actually very pretty. These are iridesc iridescent hex glitters. So you can see they give like a purple and kind of a white um, shimmer to them. I think these would be really fun to use. I think that's a really pretty glitter. These next ones are really funky. They are small holographic blue bar glitter. I'm not the biggest fan of bar glitter, but these are pretty small, so I think that you could actually use these, um, which I haven't used. I haven't used them in any manicures. Um, this next one, though, I think is something more that I would use. This is more of like silver shard glitter, so it's more chunkier pieces um, that you could place, I think, on a nail a little bit easier. And then the kits usually come with a mini nail file, which is actually quite nice. I think this is perfect for travel. It's kind of like a medium grit um, nail file. And then they do give you some nail tattoos, which are holiday themed. Bows, snowflakes, a little candy cane, and then I guess it's a little Rudolph deer. And then it looks like some confetti here. So I do think that is kind of cute that they include that in the kit. Um, overall, like I said, it's not my favorite. These are typically limited edition um, nail pails and I'm really really hoping that they bring back the nail pail as a seasonal option at Ulta. They used to come out with a new seasonal limited edition nail pail every you know every season and they did it last year um, or the yeah they did it last year I did a review on almost all of them um, that I could get my hands on and this is the first one I've seen they they haven't done any since um, I think winter of last year so I didn't get any this year except for this one which was exciting and I hope they bring it back because again I love the concept of a nail pail I think it's fun this one again I'm not blown away from the colors not my favorite that they've done but I do like the concept and I do think it's a fun um, fun way to like try some different polish and I will say that a lot of people don't enjoy Ulta polish or they don't maybe buy Ulta Polish, but Ulta Polish is um, does have some good formulas. I wouldn't say all of them are winners, but there are some that actually are very decent, um, especially if you're trying to do nail art or you're trying to give a gift. I think these are really fun um, to just test out. They're small, they're minis, but it's a really cute set. So let me know if you guys have ever purchased a nail pail before. What are your thoughts? Did you get this one? Uh, let me know. Talk to me in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!